Finally, in this video, we'll look at two simple circuits which perform what are, for most of us, relatively familiar and important tasks. The first circuit is a dusk to dawn light, or a light which turns on automatically when the light level gets low. The second circuit is a temperature measurement system. It outputs a voltage which varies with temperature. This type of circuit is common, for example, in home heating systems, where the voltage would be used to decide whether to turn the heater on or off. In order to understand how these circuits work, we'll need to employ Kirchhoff's voltage law and Kirchhoff's current law, KVL and KCL. I won't spend much time discussing these laws in this video. The laws are presented in the lecture videos and the textbook. In this video, we'll just be interested in using them to understand the response of the circuits we build. Here's a schematic of our dusk to dawn circuit. We're using a BJT as a switch to provide power to a light emitting diode or LED. LEDs light up when a high enough voltage, 2 volts or so, are applied across their terminals. As we saw in our dependent sources video, if the base voltage of the BJT is low, the BJT will not flow current from the collector to the emitter. If the base voltage is high, current will flow from the collector to the emitter and the diode can light up. What we need to do is cause the base voltage to be high when the room is dark and low when the room is light. We'll accomplish this with a combination of a photocell and this 10 kilo ohm resistor. The photocell is a device whose resistance changes with light level. When the light level is high, the photocell's resistance is low, and when the light level is low, its resistance is high. This is the photocell we'll be using. Let's use our DMM to examine its resistance variation as we change light levels. Under normal lighting, it's got about a 1.2 kilo ohm resistance. If I cover it up so that the surface of the photocell is dark, that resistance should increase to about 8 kilo ohms. Now let's take a slightly closer look at how this circuit works. If we do KVL around this outermost loop, we see that the voltage across this resistor, which is also the base voltage of the BJT, V sub B, plus the voltage across our fixed resistor, V sub R, is equal to the total voltage applied, 5 volts. Also, one property of BJTs is that very little current generally flows into their base. So we can assume that the current going in this direction is approximately zero. Doing KCL at this node then shows us that this current through this resistor, I, is approximately the same as the current through the photocell. Since the base voltage, V sub B, is equal to the resistor R sub P times I, if this resistance, R sub P, goes up, the base voltage increases, the BJT will allow current to flow, and the diode will turn on. So the process of making the room dark increases this resistance, turns on this diode. Here's our overall circuit. We're using the analog discovery to apply 5 volts to this terminal of our fixed resistor. We're also using a jumper wire to provide that same voltage to the BJT's collector. The fixed resistor and the photocell are tied together here. This point is also applying voltage to the base of the BJT. The other terminal of the photocell and the LED's cathode are connected to ground. Now we've already applied power to this. At ambient lighting levels, the LED is off. If I cover up the photocell, the LED lights up. Our second application will be temperature measurement. The goal of the circuit we're going to build here is to output a voltage which increases with increasing temperature. Circuits of this type are common in heating and air conditioning systems. The voltage indicating the temperature is used to turn the furnace or air conditioner on or off. In order to create our system, we'll need a sensor which changes some electrical parameter in response to a temperature change. We're going to use a thermistor for our application. Thermistors change their resistance as a result of temperature changes. The thermistor in our analog parts kit is a NTC 10 kilo ohm at 25 degrees C thermistor. The NTC stands for negative temperature coefficient. That means that the resistance of the thermistor decreases as temperature increases. 10 kilo ohms at 25 degrees C gives us a nominal resistance. At 25 degrees centigrade, the thermistor's resistance is approximately 10 kilo ohms. 
This is a curve of the resistance versus temperature characteristic of our thermistor. Here's our thermistor. To show how it works, let's measure its resistance with our DMM as we change its temperature. At room temperature, this thermistor's resistance is a little more than 9 kilo ohms. However, if I heat the thermistor up slightly by grasping it with my fingers, its resistance decreases to about 7 kilo ohms. This is the circuit we're going to be using. We have simply a 5 volt source, which is connected across the thermistor resistor, plus a fixed resistance. We're going to measure as our output voltage V out. That will give us the indication of our temperature change. To see how this guy works, if I do KVL around here and call this voltage, for example, VTH, 5 volts is equal to VTH plus V out. If I do KCL at this point, I can see that the current through the thermistor I is the same as the current through the fixed resistor. So V out is equal to R times I. VTH is RTH times I. Making that substitution, I times RTH plus R is equal to 5 volts. Solving for I, I is 5 volts over RTH plus R. This is the same as V out over R. So V out is equal to 5 volts times R over RTH plus R. Now, as RTH increases, which means that the temperature is going down, V out will decrease. So V out will decrease as temperature goes down. As RTH decreases when the temperature goes up, V out will go up. We get the behavior out of this that we want. Here's our circuit. We're applying 5 volts at this terminal. We have grounded this terminal. Our thermistor is here, and our fixed resistor is here. We're measuring the voltage across this fixed resistor. At room temperature, our output voltage is approximately 2.6 volts. If I warm that up slightly by pinching the thermistor with my fingers, the temperature goes up and it increases to almost 3 volts. In this video, we created a couple of simple circuits that did something useful. They both used sensors to measure some external parameter, light or heat, and created a voltage which could be used to perform some function turning on a light or possibly a heater. In order to create or understand these circuits, we used all of the analysis tools we've introduced so far. Ohm's law, Kirchhoff's current law, and Kirchhoff's voltage law.